nose an overview when sebaceous glands or oil glands get clogged and infected pimples form resulting in large red lesions filled with pus acne causes pimples which are also known as pus or zits they are most common during puberty but they can develop at any age hormone production changes during puberty the sebaceous glands at the base of hair follicles can become overactive as a result of this. As a result, pimples are most common during the adolescent years and around menstruation in women. The face, back, chest, and shoulders are the most common areas where pimples appear. This is due to the abundance of sebaceous glands in certain skin regions. Pimples are a common skin problem caused by clogged or irritated oil glands, as well as an increase in the amount of pimple-causing bacteria on the skin. There are various varieties, such as blackheads, whiteheads, cysts, and others. Home remedies, as well as over-the-counter and prescription medications and gels, are used as treatments. Difference between acne and pimples. Acne is a medical condition. Acne can manifest itself in the form of pimples. Who do pimples affect? Pimples are more common in teenagers, that's adolescents, and young adults who are going through hormonal changes. They can, however, affect babies. And many adults have pimples well into their 20s, 30s, and beyond. Adults may even acquire pimples for the first time. How common are pimples? Pimples are a very common occurrence. According to certain studies, practically everyone gets pimples at some point in their lives. They are most common throughout puberty, although they can also affect adults. How do pimples affect my body? Pimples are more likely to appear on your face, particularly your nose, chin and forehead, as well as your cheeks or around your lips, neck, back, chest and upper arms. Oil glands, on the other hand, can be found all throughout your body. They secrete sebum, an oily lubricant that keeps your skin and hair nourish and lustrous. As a result, pimples might occur on your eyelids, butt, ears, scalp, armpits, and external genitals, albeit they are uncommon. Pimples don't have a significant impact on your physical health, but they can have a psychosocial, that's how society and social groups influence your mind. And psychological impact that's your self perception and behavior they've been linked to anxiety sadness mental disorders and suicides in the past how long do pimples last Pimples often persist 3 to 7 days. The majority of pimples will go away on their own, but it may take a while. Deep pimples, that is pimples beneath the skin and have no head and feel hard to the touch, can take a few weeks, if not longer, to disappear. It's best to consult your doctor as soon as you notice pimples and follow their treatment recommendations. Are pimples contagious? Pimples are spreadable. They can be passed from one person to another via skin to skin contact. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, comment, like, and share this video. Thank you.